ago that like about like 27 28 percent 27 um and i just i just feel like oh, i want to learn so much i want to learn so much oh my god that's why a hair bonnet works for my hair it doesn't work on white women it doesn't it just frizz it up you know <laughs> You have to be 25% or more African-American for a hair line to work on your hair. Justin Bieber is like 18% African-American over there. So he, like, once you're 1%, you can kind of make like a facial expression sometimes. Like you can get into it. Um, but in order to say a complete sentence, it has to be like 14%. Um, and... And uh, my friend told me I have all of the male ones, too. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> so I have all those male African-American energies, too. You know, he's so, you so rarely get immersed in that culture around you. And he also says a lot of people think they're race, you know, especially in recent decades. Um, so, but you can tell from their head aura that's what's going on. Nikki Hall. Okay, um, let's put a longing. I have some things prepared today. <laughs> but like, I, like, I'm, I was so worried about, like, announcing that, um, because, um, not only because people are racist, so, I mean, hopefully not, um, it was captured, but, like, also because it's, like, so misunderstood, because it's, like, everyone's gonna make you, like, make this face now, <laughs> and it's, like, why? Like, I keep talking about how I really like my forehead smooth, like, it's so calming, and, like, I just feel like here, I feel, like, love here, and, like, I just love, like, I love, it's just my face, like, I don't, and that face is misunderstood, sometimes they make them do it backwards, sometimes they force them to do it, like, there's just so much bullying, you should never bully someone's face, ever, you should just let them relax it and do whatever they want with it, because even if you don't like it, that's none of your business, okay, it's none of your business, um, so, what do I have for you today, it's on my phone, it is right in my hand. He's like, people think you have like a giant ham. It's just a small cell phone. These are the best. These are so good. So good for your hand. Look, I can hit like every corner. I can't hit this phone with my phone. I don't have to move it. How do people take selfies if it's like this big? You have to like do two hands. I can just do it like this. Right? Like, I don't need. I don't need a YouTube video to be so big. <laughs> I'll just watch it on a computer, you know? I've never seen any video and been like, I want to blow this up bigger. <laughs> like, I don't care. I just don't care. Okay. <laughs> so it's my notes from Double Shot of Love last night. Double Shot at Love. <laughs> Here we go. Let's chop this water. I'll get the same message. Okay, where are we going? Where? So last night, um, oh, just to let you know, once I turn on the longing, I can't see my face. I don't have like a little screen here. So that might be why it looks a little different. Okay, all I can see is like this little camera thing where I'm like, okay. <laughs> right, this is me talking to you. And uh, now I'm looking at myself. See what I mean? I love seeing my face. I like my face. I like it. I like it a lot. 
I like everything about it. Except sometimes I can see where people are like trying to do stuff and it's like so annoying. <laughs> uh, and sometimes it looks just like in pain from like people just having like a tug of war about what direction you want every little molecule to go. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> You should never mess with anybody's face. This is the second time I said it today. I just say it all the time. People still do it. I don't know why. She's wrong. You shouldn't mess with people's faces. <laughs> it's connected to my heart. Like, you don't want to... You don't want people to feel sad when they're not sad. Right? Because then they'll, you know, see a doctor. You know, you want people to feel their own feelings, which I feel through their face. Okay, it was all strikes. <laughs> the number one strike was that they were being extremely phony. Okay, um, I'm talking from my heart all the time. Vinny actually talks from his heart all the time, too. Um, they are talking from here. Like, this is how I feel. About That's not talking from your heart. You have to talk from here. That's how you talk from your heart. Okay? Um... Uh, so they were lying. That's like where you lie from. You're like, uh, my cell phone is red and uh, sometimes it's yellow because it's like, no, my cell phone, it's, um, it's teal. That's not a lie. Unless you don't think it's teal. My cell phone is not red. That's like a little bit more assertive. I've read that singing is a good recipe against loneliness. la di da da No, it really isn't. Aww. Kind of seems like they want to go home already. Let's have them play some music. Let's go home and have them play some music. <laughs> I guess all the monotony of picking up moss is kind of getting to them. So, um, Achilles said she was in a seven year relationship with three years from the relationship ending. That is a strike, okay? He asked, I think they asked her if she'd been in a relationship before when her last relationship was. You never say how many years it's been, okay? That was mega depressing. Nobody can look at her anymore because that was the most depressing number of years of all time. That has been 10 years since that relationship started and she's so young. So depressing, mega depressing, okay? You, I would say, yes, I have been in a relationship before. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out and... Um, you don't even say that until he says, and it, and it didn't work out. <laughs> it's just like a need to know. It's very much like don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> like, or like being on a need to know basis. When a guy asks you, I feel like, about, um, yeah, we got a piece of food today. When a guy asks you a, like a question, if he's like, have you been in a relationship? You said, yes. You're not like, oh my God, it was the worst heartbreak of my life. You know, you don't, you don't go there. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to all of these. <laughs> and then if he says, how long has it been? You can say, it's been three years. You can also say something nice. Um, like, um, and um, I'm so lucky that I was unattached because this gives me the opportunity to fall in love with you. Or, you know, or usually I'll say fall in love. It gave me the opportunity to be on this show. That would be nice. Um, she was too competitive in basketball. Uh, it didn't feel like flirting. She was trying to flirt. And she was like, I'm going to beat you. But you, you, you should be like, I'm going to show you my skills. I got mad skills. She didn't do that. It's just, it was like, you know, way too hard. <laughs> it just like killed the vibe of the show. It was horrible. Uh, I was also aghast um, when I saw um, Erica D trying too hard to flirt to give other girls meltdowns, and just turned it turned it on in, into a new personality. And we've never seen her flirt that hard before. It didn't make sense. It seemed like people had been in a relationship for a long time, and that would also be unacceptable. Okay. Um. Here we go.
Is today Friday? Oh, it is Friday. I was like, I'll read more of these on Friday. I know there's Symphony for the Angels. Let's play music a little bit longer. It seems like they really like it. Another symphony for the ages. Let's play music again. Maybe we'll find an Easter egg. <laughs> Yay! Another symphony for the ages. Should we play more? I think that's pretty good. I say it three times. <laughs> That was a lot of practicing. Maybe I'll read some of those next week. Everyone, I feel like, wants to hear the Adam Sandler piece. We're going to save it. The other ones are good, too. I don't know. Like, it just... I feel just as good about the other ones. Like the whole nail polish one, where I was like, all you need to get started is 32 colors. I was like, that's hilarious. This gives you time to write your own pieces about Adam Sandler, right? And submit them to whomever you want. I'm waiting to hear back from an article for Bell Catalog. Maybe it'll come in today. I don't know when I sent it, though. I think, like, it's been about one week. Um, sometimes they get back to me in two days, sometimes it's a week or two. So they must be researching. They must be researching. The longest I ever heard back was a gardening article, where I think they did do the research. I've uh, said that before. Grew some tomatoes. <laughs> and they tried it, and it must have worked, because they accepted it. It worked for me. Like, I just followed my own instructions. <laughs> and I grew... We still have tomatoes left. <laughs> we picked them off, and it's almost Thanksgiving, basically. We picked... And I um, planted them in, like, August or September. I mean, obviously, you can plant them sooner, but I just didn't care. And then I was like, oh. And then I wrote the article, and then I was like, ah, I feel like I should buy some tomatoes. And <laughs> just... Because I knew, I just knew how to grow them. Because um, I'd grown them with clients before. Um, and then I was like, oh, you should really practice this preach. Um, so I bought some tomatoes. And then we had them for a very long time. And they were very successful. Uh, my family and I, we did a great job with them. Um, and there were two at the end of the season and we brought them in. So they are ripening on the counter. And we got yellow tomatoes, so they are turning yellow. Yellow boy. I was like, I want yellow girl. I want it to be yellow girl. It's like, mmm, they're yellow boys. It's so delicious. Oh, I need this tasting right now. Mm. And um, we'll never get them again, probably. I guess I could grow them from seed. I've never grown tomatoes from seed though. Cause like they would, you would start the, and it's for a reason. It's like, oh, well, she can't grow tomatoes from seed cause she's a bad gardener. It's like, look, I'm not a bad gardener. Okay. I can grow them from seed. I choose not to cause it takes too long. Cause I'm like, oh, she has no patience. She can't grow tomatoes from seed. It's like, look, I do have patience. Okay. But like, it doesn't make sense because, um, yes, I can be patient, but I'd rather eat more tomatoes by buying full plants. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not like a bad gardener, I'm just like a dude gardener. Like, if something doesn't make sense, I'm not going to do it. It doesn't make sense to grow them from seed. I can, I choose not to because I'm a dude. Okay. Oh, right, I was going to make that lower. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like people are messing with my face. 